to leave. <sighs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Happy bloody holidays. It's beautiful here, isn't it? It really is. We had a cracking night. We did. We always have a cracking night. Quinto, you can't whack it. He actually took me out for a meal. It was only because the kids said we were all going to the pubs. Yes. Actually, it's the first time in my life I've been out for a meal and not paid for anything. Yeah, our son paid, didn't he? Yeah. Well, happy they all paid. That. Yeah, happy with that. So I'm happy with that. You can't whack it. You can't whack a freebie. So, yeah, we're uh, going to get back in the bus soon. Yeah. And, oh, that's good. There's an alarm being going off. Yes. It's just stopped. Um, yeah, back in the bus and on to... Nuki. Aberair on. No idea. It's around Keep me. your hair on. Keep Love to on. keep your hair on. Yes, it. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll catch up with you soon. You can't whack it. You can't. You look at, hang on. Looking very pretty, isn't it? Thank you. No oh, pack it in, you <laughs> tart. <laughs> well, we just come out the granary and found these two lovely people, and they're doing a van conversion. Lewis and Paige, go for it, guys. What are you up to, guys? Um, yeah, so like middle of this year, we stacked off our jobs, and um, yeah, started building Hetty, which is this beast here. Yeah. Can I step in? Yeah, yeah of course. Okay. Um, she's a 2012 Transit, high roof, long wheelbase. So. Yeah. yeah, we thought we thought we'd be doing it in six weeks. It's now been what, three and a half months or so. Yeah, coming out to four months. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's taking a little bit longer, but I guess we just we want to put the effort in to make it nice. Yeah, of course. Know. And what's your plan? Are you going to go full time? Yeah, that's the plan. Um, we, so I work sort of in in charity finance, um, page of designer. So they're both jobs that we could potentially find ways to do it sort of remotely. Um, we we'll sort of obviously get a Wi-Fi. Mm. So how much did you pay for the van? Uh, we paid four for the van. It came with some seats, which we sold for like a hundred. So, yeah, what kind of van is it? A twenty twelve Transit. Okay. It's got almost two hundred thousand on the clock, so it's got high mileage, but they're built to go really. And yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. a highway maintenance, as you can see from the back. So it's done motorway miles. So yeah, yeah. Realistically, it should be in relatively good nick. Yeah, we've had it serviced and it flew through that. But no, yeah. Like obviously, rust is the big issue that you want to keep an eye on. So. This one of the spotless. Yeah, one of the yeah. reasons it took us so long is we spent ages right at the start. Once we stripped everything out, just yeah. cleaning, scrubbing, went through so much hammer light. And You'll have to uh, stay in touch. Yeah. And uh, take some photos and whatever. No, absolutely. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. We're like we're sort of obviously on Instagram, and yeah, we keep keep you updated with how. Yeah. yeah. Do to stay. Use if you send us photos, and then we can put them on and let people know how you're getting on with it. Yes. Yeah. Just goes to show. Just put the solar panel on the roof as well. You know, just time and patience. And I suppose anybody could do one of these conversions, to be honest. Yeah, happy with that. So, we are back in the bus and we are going to... Can you kites? Oh, loads of kites. I need to pause this, sorry. Keep left. I don't know if you can see this, but there is a flock of red kites. Absolutely amazing. I don't know if you actually spotted that, because normally we only ever see one or two kites, but there's actually a whole flock of them, so it's pretty amazing. So, yeah, we're back in the bus and we are going to a campsite called Camping on the Farm and it's in Aberaeron, Aberaeron, something like that. Have your hair on. Uh, it's actually a site that Bob Earnshaw hasn't been to, so... Never. I don't believe it. Yeah, I can't find that he has. I did uh, YouTube it the other day and no, I don't think he's been there. So, Bob, yeah. So, yeah, we were arranging to meet some friends and we're supposed to be there. 15 minutes and we can't get on there until 12. And we're going to be half an hour early. Shocker, eh? Shocker! Well, we're here, just about, because the bloody sign was written in Welsh. It didn't say camping on the farm, it said something in Welsh. Anyway, we're here camping on the farm. Yeah, uh, check in. We're on a non electric pitch. 17 pounds per night. Yeah, right by the sea. Right by the sea. Come check in. You can't whack it. The cabin, where's the cabin? Don't know. Mm. Just keep going. There you go, camping on the farm. Yeah. I've been here, are you? I am, we're here. I could smell the sea air. But I can't because I got a bloody cold. You're blocked up. Reception, there you go. Where? 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 Right hand side. Well, crack on then. Okay. 
Yeah, so this field that we've drove on to is, is the wrong one. Well, it's electric, and I've booked non electric. So, yeah. So, we're going to turn around, show you the view. And back video. in, loot. Very slowly. And then we've got to just go onto the field to the left of us, which is non electric, and find pitch 90, 91, and 92 because we're all together. Are we? We are. Shocker. Yeah, we've come with uh, Janice and. Brad. Brad, yeah, Brad Beer. And. The, Steve. And Susie, the meandering Manx. The meandering Manx. Yeah. So, but of course, we're early. There's nobody about, so we'll just take him well, to drive straight yeah, to our pitch. We've paid, so it doesn't really matter, does it? It says if you haven't paid to phone, but £17 a night. Nice to see you. Where? Oh, yeah. What do you mean, where? It's because you can't smell it, you can see it. Yeah. Have a drive about, see if we can find out. What... The grass is short, so which I'm happy about. Yeah, what number's that pitch there? 111. So we fire. I'd rather be stuck up the corner. What number are we? That's a, we're 90, that's 115. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. You're either. just driving around showing your back end off, aren't you? I like my back end. Yeah, it's very nice. Nice to see you. There's a gate over there down to the beach, so it could be good. There you go, we're, we're, they've stuck us up the corner of this corner. Number 90, are we? Yeah, we're 90, so. I think we're right up there, and we've got a bib. So we we'll park up our set up, people. Yes. There's a bloody fly in here. Happy holidays, everybody. We are parked there. That is the view from the site, which is pretty, pretty cool to be honest. And we are, where are we? Aberiran. Aberiran. Yes. Bloody hell! It's a mouthful in this. Somewhere in Wales, there's a lot of sheep around. But... That wasn't that funny, to be honest. <laughs> and Keep... we're going for a meal yet again. Come on. Yeah. More money. More money, folks. Oh, more money. Oh, no. Bag of chips I was going for. <sighs> Bloody hell, who's him? <laughs> be beautiful evening. Happy all these people. Happy Hooray. <laughs> the view from this site is amazing. I love the sea. You can't whack the sea. Lovely. Now we're just out, off out for a meal. Now if I play my cards right and stop behind, whoever's in the pub first will buy the drink. I'm happy with that. Happy. What do you think of it then, love? It's an absolute little gem. It is, isn't Look it? At it. It's absolutely stunning. I mean, it's just it's one of them sides people you got to visit. I mean, look at that lot. We've got these are all electric pitches, but we've gone non-electric. Not an electric because we're only here for one night, aren't we? Yeah. But even if we're here for a weekend or whatever, we don't need. But it's so pretty. Just like me. No. Actually, you're looking really pretty tonight. Thank you. Shut up, Robert. Unbel it's unbelievable, isn't it? I've brought you out yeah, for a romantic walk. Shut up, Robert. Oh, man. I don't know why I bother. Come on. I think they pronounce it Aberay, Ron. This is a harbour. Obviously the tide's gone out, or they've run out of water. <laughs> Go around to this sunset. Beautiful. Yeah. Don't fall in. I won't fall in unless you push me my little fruit cake, my little angel, my little pickle, my little sandwich box. Don't tempt me, my little cockle shell. What? Cockle shell? Useless? No, it really is a nice place. I'll come back here. Loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. Yes, definitely worth a visit, folks. Another worth the visit, yes? Definitely, 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 definitely. You are looking very pretty. Why don't you take pictures of me? Because oh, I take pictures of beautiful things. It's not very nice, is it? <laughs> yeah. Beautiful whales, man. We will be back, as you keep saying. We will be back. We will be back. Let's crack on, eh? Lynn, let's crack on. I'm cracking on. You're going the wrong way. No, I'm Get back here, way. quick. You go that way up the steps. 
Unbelievable, isn't it? You've got the Harbour Master Hotel there. Everybody out to join themselves on a beautiful evening. And it really is a beautiful evening. Make you good and happy with us. And then I keep walking off like I'm not here for some reason. I don't know why, but they are. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Hey. Yes, right, Brad, Brad and Jan, can I ask you a serious question? What's the best thing about Wales to you as Welsh people? We live in it. Yeah. Oh. That's a good answer, to be honest, Brad. Second best. No, that Rob and Lynn on tour are in it today. That's probably what it is, isn't it? Janice, get you your face on the camera. <laughs> Janice. Yeah. What's the matter? Oh, it's because you haven't got your makeup on. And yeah. Susie, what's Susie wearing? Susie, what's. Happy Look at that. Days. Susie, what yeah. have you got on? Yeah, but she's got her own channel and she's wearing. Uh... <laughs> you got your priorities right, that's all I can say. I don't have any merch yet. <laughs> <laughs> when we do, you're wearing it. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, well, actually. Get some sweaters and octop or whatever and I'll put them on. No problem at all. Where are we to, Rob? What? Where are we to? Where are we to? Where are we to? Where are we to? Perfect. Absolutely bang on. Street food. Which obviously is very popular because people are eating there. Yeah, happy with that. Award-winning takeaway, restaurant takeaway, which is rammed, so it's got to be good. Whilst breakfast, morning coffee, homemade cakes, lunch and snacks. And it is very busy, so it's got to be good. If a place is busy, it's got to be good. And if it's a bananas, yeah, it's just really mega nice here. Happy with that. The Castle Hotel. Man, this place is buzzing. Perfect. And I've never heard of this place, but it is bang on. And this is what it looks like on an evening. Absolutely bang on. Yeah, you've really got to come here, to be honest. Good night. Good company. That's what you need when you're on it. Good company. Brilliant. Good morning. Absolutely beautiful morning. We are parked there and there is a gate. Excuse the noisy rocks because my feet are soaked because the grass is wet. But yeah, walk to walk towards this gate. My feet are squelching. And there's the sea. It doesn't get much better than this. Oh, that's a good way to put it, isn't it? Because the sun's bright right in my eyes. Can't see a bloody thing. Bloody hell, you do just a moan. Good morning, everybody. Good morning again. He's actually up now. It's a bit windy today. It's blowing a hoolie. I'm just taking the old bird to the crapper. No, we're not. We're walking around to have a look. Yeah, we'll show you a quick walk around to the side. You're looking very pretty tonight. Thanks. <laughs> Unbelievable. Right, so if you didn't know where we were, we are at Camping on the Farm in Aberaeron, Wales. And it's bang on, people. It is bang on. Can't recommend the place enough. No. So, you come down there. I know it looks a bit of a mission, but it's not, to be honest. It's easy. Easy access straight off the main road, the coastal road. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's pretty good, to be honest. No problems there whatsoever. No. Yes. So, before we go any further, we'll talk about price. Got the camera <laughs> Right, so we'll talk about price. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> it's uh, £15 per night, non-electric. A uh, pound each for the dog, so it's cost us 17 quid. Yeah, for one night, so. Yes. No electric, on grass. Yes, but to be honest, you can't grumble at that. No. 
because it is absolutely bang on, like I've already said. The bin's right behind your van, so you haven't got to walk miles with your rubbish. No, who, well, I haven't got to walk miles because I've just done the bin run. Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> so, yeah, you drive down here. Yeah. And you've actually... The only problem is the sign at the top of the road is in Welsh. So we drive past it. Yes, and it's Welsh. a good job, to be honest. I speak fluent Welsh. Okay, so did. I saved the day yet again. No, you didn't. I had to put it on my phone and get a better because the sat nav just. Oh. Yeah, one of them. You got hangover again, didn't you? How many did I have to drink? Not I many. I don't know. I drunk. No, you weren't. Well, I don't know. There was only John that was drunk. Bradders. Yeah, Bradders. He oh, was hammered. Uh, yeah, so you come down here to this gate here. Camping on the farm. No. We'd already previously booked and paid. Yes. So if you haven't. Uh, there's a notice here. If you haven't pre booked, you must phone that phone number. Yes. Do not set up unless given a pitch number. Yes, but to be honest, we haven't seen anybody, have we? No. No, but you just pull on here because you book online, obviously. I and didn't. Then... I didn't book online. I phoned up. <sighs> okay, you phone up or right. book online. Yeah. Yeah. No, then, I don't know about booking online. Oh, bloody hell, it's a domestic again, folks. Yeah, I don't know about booking online, I phoned. So anyway, you don't see anybody, you just, they give you a pitch number, you pull on, job done, you don't see anybody, nobody bothers you, job's good. You have a reception there, there's nobody in it. No. For some reason, I don't know. And then you've got your bins. Yeah, your Put bins there, bottles, oh. recycling. But like you said, we've, each pitch has got, well, every three pitches has a bin. Yes. You've got your facility block there, Elson Point round to your left. Men's toilets, ladies' toilets, we're a, which are pretty adi adequate. No, yeah, yeah, they're yeah. adequate. Yeah. Nothing special, but adequate. They work. Yeah. And on the left hand side here, you have all the electric pitches, I presume. And then you go through this gate here and where the non electric are. That's, that's us. Yeah, but they stuck us right at the corner for some reason. Maybe, I don't know, maybe you're my bad influence on the campus. I think it's you. I think you're a bit loud. Unbelievable. So, on our uh, part of the field. Yeah, the non-electrics. The non-electrics. You just park around here, look. Actually, there are electric points over there. Oh, there's some electric points over there. We stand corrected. Yes. So it must be over there where they stick us peasants. Yeah. <laughs> so we're over there, look, the three of us. But you can see the sea. Yes, but the view. Is breathtaking. Oh, no, so we are part there, people. Uh, you've got the meandering Manx there, YouTubers, Meander meandering Manx, them as well, Sue and Steve. Steve. And then you have Jan and Brad, subscribers and friends. Mind you, those two are friends as well, to be honest, really nice people. And there they are, look, she's not very, looking very pretty today, but you know, Shut up, Robert. she had a rough night, but bless the old bird. Yeah, she had a he rough was night. drunk again, he's got a problem, because <laughs> he's from Wales. And there's my little fruitcake, my little pineapple chunk, my little dog biscuit. Shut up, Robert. Unbelievable. Happy oh, old. This, this end of the field where we are, you just walk through this gate here, onto this. It doesn't get much better, does it? I did show them that earlier, Robert, when you were in bed. Oh, did you really? I did. So you are vlogging without me? Yes. Unbelievable. There's no sand, people. But, and it's a bit rough underfoot. Well, if you walk over there, it is. But there is a pathway. And it takes you right into where we filmed last night, into Aberera. Yes, straight up Aberera. there. And I'd say it was about, what, 10, 15 minute walk? That's about all. And then you're in a beautiful little town. Happy with that? Happy. Yeah, and we're going to end it there for now, and because we need to pick it up when we get back, so I can do the draw for the Clap 7 in 1. Yes. And so, a few show takes. Yes. So we hope you've enjoyed our little uh, walk around. Aberreron. Aberreron. I can't even pronounce it, man. Aberreron. But it's well worth a visit, and we will definitely be back here. 100 million percent. You Love can't it. whack it. We're back, people. Our holiday has come to an end. Again. It's a sad day for Robin Lynn on tour. Roll on Friday and we'll be out again. Roll on Friday so we get back on the road, get the back end, they've job done. If we've got any fuel. If we've got any fuel. <laughs> no, actually, the bus is full. We'll yeah. fill the bus up, so. 
It's tomorrow I'm worried about work. I've got no diesel. No, oh, and I've got 85 miles in the car, so... You don't need the bloody car, though, do you? I do. I was going to go get my hair done. Shocker! Right, first, what we've got to do is who's won the Collapse 7-in-1. And I would show you the product, but somebody's left the bag with it in, in the bus. Is that it? That's not me, is it? I can't remember bloody everything going on. You walked over the bag. Oh, shut up. You walked over that, put it by the door, you walked over the bag to get out, the, out of it. So he's left it in there. So... I've just drove 5,000 miles. Oh, 80, is it 88 miles you've just drove, that's all? I don't know. It's an odd drive, though. Right. In my hat. It's the only hat I could find, is my bob lap. Hang on, I'm going to pick in it. No, you can no I'm picking it. Oh, bloody hell. Just one, because we've only got one. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> Can't you do anything, right? Right, who's the lucky winner, people? <sighs> and the winner is... Drum roll. Da -da 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 -da. Just read it, will you? <laughs> I'm hot and I'm bothered and I want to show how much my hair. And the winner is Woody's mate. Congratulations, Woody's mate. If you can email your address, privately message on Facebook, Instagram, or email us with your address, and yes. I will get that in the post to you. ASAP. Well, yeah. As soon as we've got, I've got it back. I'll bring you bloody back tomorrow. Make sure you do. So, congratulations, uh, Woody's mate, on winning one of the collapse seven in one. Yeah, that. Well done. Okay. You'll um, find it very useful. We still haven't used ours yet, but... No, because we I'm haven't. Sure it will be we, we've eaten out ever since we've had it. Yeah, because you don't have to turn the bloody cooker on. No, well... Debbie Morris... Happy Mrs birthday. Debbie Morris! Happy birthday from Steve for the 22nd of September, so that's a belated one. Happy birthday to Debbie. Steve and Clayton, can you give Steve him... Steve and Clayton? Can you give can him... Can you... Can you give him and his wife a shout-out for their 34th wedding anniversary? And can you ask Rob... To ask Janet to give Steve a snog for the 26th. So ask Janet to give Steve a snog. Janet, give Steve a snog. And please send me a photo because I forgot what it's like. Tammy, Tammy Futcher. Uh, Tammy who? Tammy Futcher, her husband Tammy Colin. Futcher. He's 64 on the 25th of September and they're camping at Collins Lake in California. Oh, very nice. Very, right very summer, nice. Eh? Happy birthday. It's his birthday. Yes, it's his 64th birthday on the 25th, so for yesterday. Yeah, happy birthday for yesterday, buddy. I hope you had a good, good time. And Karen Yates, happy birthday to... Karen Yates, how you doing? You all right, are you? Happy birthday to Del. Del. It's his birthday tomorrow, the 25th of September. Lots of from, lots of love from Karen and, of course, from us. So yes. ha happy birthday, happy, happy anniversary, oh, happy man. everything to everybody. Yeah, happy birthday, Del boy. <laughs> Unbelievable. Have a great day, Del. So that's it, until yes. uh, back in the bus on Friday. Yes, so uh, Woody's mate, get in touch please, otherwise I'll sell it. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we hope you've enjoyed our vlogs over the weekend, people. Yeah, it's been, it's been amazing, hasn't it? If you do come across this channel, please hit the like give button. Give us a thumbs up, give us a comment, say happy holidays. And subscribe. You know, do the usual stuff. Crack on, crack on with your week. Have a good week. Have a great week, everyone. Yeah. Stay safe, fellow caravan. As motor owners, tenters, drifters, subscribers, all of you. So love you. We we'll do. see you next week, people. We will be back on the road. You can't whack it. Heading to Doncaster. Heading to Doncaster. See you next week. Happy with that. Um, Happy. This week. Later in this week. Yeah.